Hello kids, I hope you all are fine and safe at home. So this is our second video on the topic our animal friends and in this video I will teach you about the usefulness of animals and different types of animals depending upon their eating habits. Cows, buffaloes and goats gives us milk which is used to make curd, cheese, cream and butter. All these things are known as dairy products because they are made of milk. So kids, milk is very healthy for our bones and teeth. So we should drink 2 to 3 glasses of milk every day. Hens and ducks give us eggs which are rich in protein. Goat, fish and hen gives us meat. Do you know kids that the meat of a goat is known as mutton whereas the meat of the hen is known as chicken. Some people eat fish also. Here I will share an important information about the fish that we should not eat fish in the month of May, June, July and August because it is the breeding period for the fish. Elephants, horses and donkeys are used to carry loads. Do you know kids? In earlier time, human being discover that animals can carry more load on their back as compared to them and also cover more distance while carrying the loads on his back. So from the earlier time, the human beings start using animals for their help. The many animals they will use, for example, horses, elephants, camels, bulls, cows and many other animals. Kids, we get wool from sheep and woolen clothes keeps us warm. And now I will discuss this process with you. Kids, do you know? that the hair or wool of sheep is known as fleece and the process of removing fleece from a sheep is known as shearing. After shearing, that fleece is woven on a machine and that machine is known as loom and this entire process is known as weaving. After weaving, we will get a woolen thread and that thread is knitted into a sweater. So, in this process, three steps are being followed. First is shearing, second is weaving and third is knitting. Okay kids, now do you know that we get silk from silkworm and the process of silk production is known as sericulture. In this process, Silk worms are cultivated on mulberry leaves. They make a cocoon around themselves. These cocoon dissolved in boiling water in order to get individual long fibers to be extracted and fed into the spinning reel. Finally, we we'll get the silk thread as our final product. So these are the two important processes. Hides of animals like snakes, crocodiles and camel are used to make leather and leather is used to make bags, purses, belts and shoes. Here is a new word hides and hides means skin of an animal. And also kids, I'll share a small information under Planet Protector Act that it is not right to kill animals for their skins. We should use the skin of only dead animals to make leather or other products. Kids, next important question is, what do animals eat? Animals eat different types of food and depending on their food habits, they can be grouped into three categories. So the first category is herbivores. They eat only plants and plant material. Herbivores may eat fruits, roots, leaves, 
and tree barks. They usually need to eat often during the day in order to have enough energy. So, few examples of herbivorous animals are sheep, giraffe, zebra and cow. Second category is carnivores. They only eat meat. These animals are usually fairly large and they have to eat another animals in order to obtain enough energy. Some carnivores eat insects and bugs. Some eat small animals such as rat or fish while other carnivores eat big animals such as wolves or even buffaloes. Few examples of carnivorous animals are fox, lion, wolf and shark. So the last category is omnivorous. They can eat both plant materials and meat. They can get their food more easily than other animals because they can eat more types of food than either herbivorous or carnivorous. So few examples of omnivorous animals are people, bear, pig, hens, monkey, etc. So kids, that's it for today. But now I am going to play a sub video for you in which you can recapitulate the entire chapter with the help of pictures. So listen to this video very carefully and enjoy the pictures also. We see so many animals around us. We see animals in our houses like dog and cat. We see animals in the farm like sheep and hen. We see animals on the road like horse and bullock. We also see birds on trees and in the sky, like sparrows and crows. Animals like lion and tiger are seen in the wild and in the zoo. Tame animals and wild animals Animals are either tame or wild. Let us learn about them. Tame animals are animals which are not afraid of people and are used to living with them. Most of them are domestic animals. Domestic animals Domestic animals are animals which we keep on farms like cow, buffalo, goat, sheep and horse or in our house as pets like dog cat and tortoise. The farm animals are very useful to us. We get milk from cow, buffalo and goat. We make ghee, butter curd, cheese and other milk products from this milk. The skin of cows and some other animals is made into leather for shoes, purses and bags. We get wool to make cardigans and sweaters from sheep, horses and oxen
draw carts. Bullocks draw the plow in farms. Domestic elephants are used to carry loads and pull huge logs of wood. Pets keep us company and give us great joy. They love us and we must take good care of them. Some pets also help us though. Dogs keep robbers away. Cats catch mice and help in keeping the home rodent free. Stray animals Stray animals are animals that do not have a home and live on the streets. You may have seen dogs and cats eating or sleeping or roaming on the streets. Though stray animals are tame, we should avoid touching them. We can feed them from a distance.